Hi, I told you that I'd be back so quickly. For me, it feels like just seconds ago, but for you, it was yesterday. Hi, today is April 2nd. I'm going blind for you today, so come along on the journey and let's celebrate today for tomorrow. It's Ferret Day. For all you ferret lovers, you get to say Happy Ferret Day to somebody else who owns a ferret. I don't own a ferret because I've heard horror stories of ferrets. You own a dryer, you better be careful because those ferrets, they like to burrow in really weird places, specifically your dryer. And then it's just fluffy ferret, fluff dried. A ferret is a domesticated pole cat. Do you see the confusion in my eyes? Pole cat. I don't know. It's a ferret. It's a cross between a dog and a squirrel. Seriously, to me. They're like really, really long and skinny, narrow, and they're obnoxious. Sorry, if you have a ferret, happy ferret day! <laughs> But I wouldn't have a ferret to save my life. I have enough problems with cats and dogs and a seven-year-old and homeschooling and staying at home and taking care of a 38-year-old man. God bless him. He's a very good man, but he's like a child sometimes too. I don't need a ferret and all that extra trouble of ferretness. They go to holes in the wall. If you have a tiny hole in your wall, they're gone. Yeah, so happy ferret day. Tavin, you're gonna love this one today. Today is... Are you ready? Today is... Are you ready? Seriously, Tavin, are you ready? This is so good. All right. It's National Peanut Butter and Jelly Day. You heard me, Tavin. It's Peanut Butter and Jelly Day. Yeah, yes you can. I know you're asking me right now as you listen to this, mom, can I have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich today? You absolutely can, it's all yours, but you're making it because I'm not. Now, I wanna share a story with you. Don't turn me off. It's really short, it's like five seconds. Okay, maybe like a minute long, if even that. I'm taking more time telling you not to shut me off than if you were to just listen to my story instead of shutting me off. So my son, Josh, he loves goobers, not, you know, goobers. He likes, well, he likes those too. <laughs> not kidding. But he likes goobers. The mixture of peanut butter and jelly, you know, where the jelly is in with the peanut butter. Tavin loves goobers too. So I guess when we get our sourdough bread, we must be picking up goobers. Have you ever had a fried peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Listen to me. Listen. No, really, listen. If you have not had a fried peanut butter jelly sandwich, you know, like a grilled cheese, you are missing something in life. Fry that peanut butter and jelly sandwich like a grilled cheese and you'll never go back. Your life will never be the same. It'll be like pennies coming from heaven. Peanut butter and jelly day. You're welcome, Tavin. All right, this is gonna be a tough one for all of you, particularly me. It's National Reconciliation Day. I have no one to reconcile with, but I have a lot of people that need to reconcile with me. How about I'm sorry? How about even acknowledging I exist? How about when I say, hey, I thought our friendship meant something, that you respond and say, it meant the world to me and I'm so sorry I hurt you. Reconcile with somebody today. I'm trying, but you know something? You can try all you want, but if you can't reconcile with people who don't want to reconcile with you, what do you do? You know what? It doesn't matter. You did the right thing. However, reconciling does not make the other person right. And reconciliation doesn't always mean that you have to reconcile directly with them. There are some people that you can forgive as Christ has forgiven us. That's what reconciliation is, is that you forgive someone for the wrongdoing that they've done to you. 
reconciliation is a little bit different. Reconciliation means that you go to that person and you try to make that wrong right. That you make amends and you start new and you don't hold on to the past. As difficult as that may be, if somebody has hurt you as deeply as I have been hurt over the past several months by family members and someone who I thought was my best friend and would never leave my side for the rest of my life. I thought I was going to grow old with this person. Sometimes it's hard to forgive the things that they do to you. And reconciliation is trying to make it right and move on. However, sometimes that person isn't going to reconcile with you no matter what you do. I know. I've tried so many times. One person in my life has caused so much destruction. Do you reconcile with that? Your faith has to do it for you. And my faith always forgives. Even the worst offense, I forgive. Because that's what Christ taught me to do, to forgive. So today, reconcile with someone who has hurt you. Try to make it right and try to restore that relationship that you had with someone before. Or it can be reckon silly day for me because no one's going to reconcile with me. I've already tried. I told you. So it's reckon silly day for me. I'm going to be reckless and silly. You just brought me down reconciliation day, April 2nd. So let's recap before I cry. <laughs> no one wants to see that again. <laughs> uh, April 2nd it is right? It's Reconciliation Day. Let's just get that over with now. Reconciliation Day. It's also National Peanut Butter and Jelly Day, Tavin. Enjoy it. I love you so much, even though it's not love your children today. I still love you, Tavin. And I love you so much that I'm going to let you eat as much peanut butter and jelly as you want today. You can gouge yourself with peanut butter and jelly today. I don't care. Because, you know, it's National Peanut Butter and Jelly Day. Okay, so I'll clean up your puke later. And National Ferret Day. God bless you. God bless America. <laughs> I always feel like saying that when I say God bless you. <laughs> please celebrate today. And please remember that Christ forgave us when we sin and when we do sin and when we always sin because we always do. We are so imperfect. We are so flawed. Christ forgave us. He reconciled us. He reconciled you. So be joyful in that today and celebrate how Christ has redeemed and forgiven you. Reconciliation Day. Reconcile with your Creator. Reconcile with the one who died for you, who took it all on Him. Reconcile with Jesus and be blessed and celebrate today. And if you reconciled with Christ today, congratulations. I'll see you in heaven, but I'll see you tomorrow first. Well, I won't see you. You'll see me. Okay. Just, you know what? Goodbye. Reconcile the world. Yeah. Let's do it. God bless you. Bye.